Hello and welcome to the video. So what do you get when you cross the Incredible Hulk with Wolverine? The world's strongest vegan, or Patrick Babuberman. Patrick was the strongest German in 2011. As well as being a competitive strongman, he has also starred in the Netflix documentary The Game Changers. So it's safe to say Patrick knows what he's doing when it comes to diet and training. So today I'm going to be eating and training like a strongman to see if I can become the world's strongest YouTuber. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Anyway, it's the morning, I'm hungry, so I think you know what time it is. I'm gonna see you guys at breakfast. So to start the day off, Patrick just has himself a protein shake. And when I say a protein shake, he has an 80 gram protein shake. Yeah, the guy is an absolute savage, so he just has protein, water, some creatine, and some beta alanine. I don't have beta alanine, so mine is just 80 grams of protein, water, and some creatine. He's even that much of a savage, he just casually drinks it out of the blender. Okay, so this is meal number one. <laughs> ah, cheers. Oh. This is what makes you a strong man. And that breakfast has just made me realize that this day is not gonna be as easy as I thought. <sighs> Drinking 80 grams of protein with Luke tepid warm water first thing in the morning is definitely not ideal. <laughs> and I've got about three more of those to drink as the day goes on, as well as a ridiculous amount of food. So after his breakfast, Patrick will do some strongman training. It's time to put these 80 grams of protein to good use and yeah, get some training done. Okay, so time for the workout. He doesn't actually go really too much into detail. He just says he's going to do an upper body session today. He does a lot of warming up as he also has elbow tendonitis. So it's safe to say that us strong men all have one thing in common, dodgy elbows. He starts off his session with some overhead pressing. He doesn't go into sets and reps, but I'll assume because he is doing strength training that he is doing very low reps with lots of rest time. Once he's finished doing his overhead press, he then does some incline press. And that's his upper body session pretty much done. He then finishes off with a crucifix hold into lateral raises, which is something I've never done before and is a hell of a burner and it's something I'll probably continue to do in the future. So thank you very much for that, Patrick. Anyway, that is the end of the session and we are finally ready for some lunch. So that is the workout done. It is lunchtime. I am hungry. So Patrick, come on, bud. What are we having for lunch? Yes, that's right, Patrick has another protein shake, but this time he mixes up a little bit, so he has 80 grams of protein, of course, and then he has 100 grams of carbohydrates. He doesn't specify exactly what he has, he just likes to have mixed fruits, and as you'll see from today of eating, he doesn't actually work out calories, he always just uses macros. So to hit 100 grams of carbs, I have used 200 grams of bananas, 150 grams of pineapple, and 60 grams of dates. I blend it all up with some 80 grams of protein, and here we are. So it's gotta taste better than the first one, surely. Just honestly, having so much protein in your drink, it just, even though there's so much fruit in there, all I can taste is like chalky protein powder. So he says in the documentary, the only reason he drinks before and after his workout is because he wants to give his digestive system a break and I completely understand that, so it does make sense. I just don't know about the amount. The vast quantity of protein, I do not understand. If you watch my full day of eating, I hit 155 grams of protein, which I've already beaten here and it's only the first two meals of the day and there is quite a lot of meals to go. So yeah, let's get this down, I guess. While I'm drinking this, I'm getting severe flashbacks of my university days. <laughs> That's the last time I drank this many jugs. Oh my God, so much liquid. <laughs> Okay, so that's the second shake done. That is not me for six, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so Patrick now says he, he chills out for two hours before he eats his first meal. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna lie down, pat my belly, feel sorry for myself, and I'll see you guys for the first actual meal, which is outrageous, and so I'll see you then. Oh 
All right, so it is meal number three and it's finally time to eat some food. So as I said previously, he doesn't show the calories in his day of eating, he shows the macro, so it's a bit harder to replicate exactly what he had. But on the day of eating, he had 60 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs and 90 grams of fat. So I've tried to get that as close as possible. So I have 500 grams of chips, six sausages, three falafel, five tomatoes and a plate of peppers like he did. So this comes to 1500 calories, 227 grams of carbs, 47 grams of protein and 44 grams of fat so it's as close as I could get it but yeah I'm excited to eat this I'm actually really hungry very intimidating like I don't mind tomatoes but staring five in the face is pretty full-on so I'm gonna <laughs> save those to end and yeah I think he's showing his German heritage here with the sausage and chips not a particular bodybuilder meal I guess you can see the difference someone who eats for strength to someone who eats for aesthetics but let's dive in Diet tip as well, if you're trying to lose weight, do not eat chips. This plate is like 900 calories and it's probably like so easy to eat. So yeah, careful of your chips. Right, I'm ready to dive in. I don't really know how to tackle this. He kind of had it on several plates as well. So I'm trying to live like the man himself, but he didn't show himself eating it. So I'm not sure how he takes it down. Does he do like one plate at a time? Does he mix up? I don't know. So I'm going to dive in and yeah, see how it goes. <sighs> the tomatoes are going to be a problem. We have to try and take the tomatoes down now. Because they are... Oh. Who eats a plate of tomatoes? Patrick. That is the tomatoes done. Whoa. I did not enjoy them, but I knew if I left them to when I was feeling very full, it would be game over. So now I just got chips, peppers, and the last sausage. So that meal is done and I actually really enjoyed that apart from the tomatoes like give me half a tomato maybe one tomato on a breakfast but a plate of five with like the two jugs of protein shakes still in my belly that was a challenge but yeah the rest chips and sausages something I literally would never have so I guess it's kind of like a cheat meal for me so after that meal we are at 2592 calories for the day so far 209 grams of protein 342 grams of carbs 50 grams of fat so yeah we still got quite a few meals to go after this he says he usually goes for a walk or a nap for an hour and then has his next meal so I guess I'm gonna be going for a nap for an hour so I'll see you for the next meal better than having a nap and then waking up and having another 50 grams of protein water straight from a blender. Cheers Patrick. Mmm, delish. Now it's time for dinner. Whoa. Okay, so this is meal number four, I think it is. So for this one, he's got vegetables and tofu, some aubergine and curry paste, and some potatoes. Um, not a usual meal I would have regularly, but I'm actually really excited to try it out. Yeah, especially these courgettes. Mm, that's really good. Must do a lot of dishes at his house. Whew, that was a lot of food. Um, so that was 932 calories, 97 carbs, 34 fats, 53 grams of protein. Whew. 
This guy likes to eat a lot of food because <laughs> all his meals are so voluminous. But it was really tasty and it goes to show you can actually make really tasty meals really quick and easy. Like all these meals have taken about 5-10 minutes to prepare and yeah, have been super delicious so I've really enjoyed them. And yeah, I think I've got space for a little bit more so I'll meet you guys for his final meal. Ooh, is this the craziest angle in the world? Maybe not. It's really hard to film in here at night time when it's dark. But anyway, this is his last meal of the day. Very interesting choice. He has like a bowl of monkey nuts. And then to stop going catabolic, of course, another 50 gram protein shake <laughs> with water. So yeah, I'm really, I'm pretty full up from that last meal. I'm pretty sick, but I'm just going to wolf these down <laughs> and call it a day. But yeah, I really enjoyed trying all these different foods so far. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm trying my first monkey nut. Ready, go. It might take me <laughs> a while to eat these. So I'm probably just going to watch TV for like half an hour and finish these up. So that was really, really nice. So nice, even Loretta had some. Nice what, monkey nuts? Yeah. <laughs> very fun to eat, but very, very messy. <laughs> Where's the debris? Very messy. I did it without a bowl. Not advised. Not advised. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the office. <laughs> I really need to stop doing that. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the day of eating. I just want to apologise for the lighting. It's so dark in the UK right now. Um, it's actually <laughs> quite difficult to film in the evening. But yeah, so the day of eating. So for me today, I've eaten 4,436 calories, 371 grams of protein, 455 grams of carbohydrates, and 132 grams of fat so I didn't quite eat as much as him I don't quite know how maybe I missed something off the list he actually goes on to say at the end of the documentary that what he eats varies that's why he doesn't really post days of eating and he usually eats around 4,000 calories so I feel like I've eaten a typical day for him and yeah I've learned quite a lot really found his meals very quick but very tasty though just so much volume and I don't understand why he has those massive protein shakes all the time or will not be drinking out of a blender for a long time but yeah I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, like the video if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have you been a naughty boy? Yes.